Hi, hello. Now I completely understand why people at work full time forget to vlog during the week. It is 20 to 9 at night. And the clip you'll have seen just before this one was at like quarter to six this morning. So that is how long my day has been so far. My dressing gown is ready. I've got my I Heart NY Mickey Mouse top on from that time I went to New York. And I'm also wearing my um, Miffy pyjamas because, like an absolute idiot, I left my favourite camo joggers in a hotel in Caring. Isn't that great? <laughs> but um, I did realise when I got home and unpacked my case, I rang them and they said that if I send a prepaid envelope to them, that they will send them back to me. So, of course, I have done that. Um, so today marks the end of my first week at my new job and I've honestly had the greatest time. I've technically only worked three days and next week is full five days, different school every day. Um, but I've had a really great week. I travelled down to Kettering on Wednesday night, stayed over in a travel lodge and I have a story for you about this. So, <laughs> this is just going to be a long like 10 minute segment of me chatting about my day because I forgot to vlog anything. Not about my week really. Um, put the postcode in, decided to set off about 7 o'clock at night because I wanted to see my dad before I went and I wanted to miss rush hour really. So, pop in the postcode off the hotel and start driving and after about 2 hours I was going on a roundabout and the sat-nav did that thing that it does when you arrive at your destination and it just is like done. And I was going around a roundabout so I was like, oh shit, well, I'm sleeping in the middle of this roundabout apparently. So I had to pull over, try and find the right postcode because the postcode that I'd been given was wrong. I uh, eventually found it, put it into my sat-nav that I like plug in to the car and it just wasn't working. So what I had to do was pull over, type the postcode into my phone and then listen to the sat nav voice on my phone and try and find it. It took me about 20 minutes, which overall isn't that bad considering I was driving for two hours. My arm's starting to work. But yeah, I eventually got there, found my hotel, always staying in Premier Inn. I love Premier Inn. We also get meal vouchers, but we'll move on to that in a minute because I'm really enjoying my job at the minute and I feel like a proper, like evolved human. It, make, it makes me really happy. Um, so I got there. And I parked up and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to lug all my kit into there. Eventually found the reception. It was like the weirdest laid out hotel I've ever seen in my life. It was like laid out like an old people's home. It was so strange. And then I got in there, checked in and realised there was no lift. Carried all my stuff up. Eventually got up there. I found my room. Also found a spider. Spider. On the door. And at that point I was just like sick of my life. So I kicked it. Hoping that it would just like drop down and run away, but it tried to run under the door into my room, so I just stamped on it and I was like, mm, not even gonna try. I've got nothing to try and catch it with. It was about to run under the door and then I'd have lost it forever in that room and I wouldn't have been able to sleep. Stamped on it, it fucking popped. It was vile. Anyway, and then, oh, we get food vouchers. So we get an evening meal and then our breakfast included in our stay, which is amazing. So I'd arrived at half past nine, which was perfect because they stopped serving food at 10. So I managed to get in there. I had some corn sausages and some chips. And then I also got a fucking pudding. I had a waffle, Ugh, beautiful. And also when I ordered my drink, found out it was refillable, absolutely banging, went over to the machine, vanilla Pepsi Max. Yes, amazing. So I had two of those, it was great. Enjoyed myself, sat in it. A meal alone in public, never done that before unless it was like my own pack lunch and I've been just sitting outside eating it. In a pub, eating it on my own. Grown up, businesswoman. Yes, loved it, it was amazing. And then I went back up to my room because I was like, oh, I'm gonna have a real nice bath, wash my hair so I feel all nice and fresh for the morning. I had a lovely bath, was watching YouTube, just washing my hair, having a real nice time. Came out, brushed my hair, got dressed, getting ready to dry it and then I see something that I thought was moth thought was a moth, was not a moth, was a fucking warrior spider, it only had six legs, that fucking beast, um, but yeah, by the time I was close enough to figure out it wasn't a moth and was a spider, I felt like my ass was just gonna, my heart was gonna fall out of my ass, that's what that meant, not that I was gonna shit myself, 
So I put my hoodie on, I went downstairs and I tumbled over to the reception and I was like, I'm gonna sound like a wimp, but there's a really big spider in my bedroom. Do you happen to have a hoover, please? And the guy was like, yeah, of course I do, I'll just go get it for you. Like he was really, really nice about it. It didn't make me feel stupid. Didn't do that whole, ooh, silly woman, must be scared of spider. Mm, I bet it's this tiny spider. He didn't do any of that, he was really nice. And then he offered to carry it up to my room and I was like, yeah, that's so lovely, thank you. And I pointed to it and he went, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have let you sleep in there with that. And I was just like, oh, amazing. And then he hoovered it up for me, which was great. Such an angel. But then obviously I had paranoia about finding a third spider because bad things happen in threes, touch wood. Uh, I'm apparently a very superstitious person. Um, so I slept a bit dodgy, which is a bit crap. But the drive to the school from there was less than 10 minutes. So like it was fine that I didn't really sleep much. So that was cool and on that happened on Wednesday night on Wednesday during the day I shot some banging photos with my friend Gabby and I'm about to write a blog post because it is Friday today and I have not had a blog post so I'm gonna sit now at quarter to nine and write a blog post about the photos that I took with my friend Gabby because Gabby is a wonderful sex worker and there's been some stuff going on on Facebook, some arguments. If you watch my Insta stories very frequently or follow me on Twitter, you will have seen these things that have happened on social media recently. Um, and funnily enough, we did have this shoot planned for quite a long time, but it just happened to fall on the day after all of that stuff. Um, so we've decided she's gonna come on my channel and have a nice little discussion, little interview about sex work and that kind of stuff. Um, so if you don't support those kind of things, you can leave, thank you. But yeah, we had a really, really cool time pictures are amazing so if you want to see some of them like the more pg versions then check out my blog post links as always are in the description down below um i have been talking for seven minutes but yeah the rest of my week's been pretty nice and today <laughs> the reason i haven't vlogged anything is because i literally just got home from work sat down my phone rang it was actually of course angel of my life who i see all the time and i answered my phone and she was like what are you doing right now? I was like, I just got home from work. She was like, I'm, I'm just pulling into Hazel now. What do you want to do? And I was like, well, to be fair, I'm quite hungry because I hadn't eaten all day. When you're waking up at half past five, six o'clock in the morning, you don't want to eat anything. And then by the time you realise you're hungry, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. And then I needed to drive home. And I was like, sure. all right, what are you hungry for? Something cheap and full of carbs, please. So we decided to go to Mackey's. She pulls over outside my house. I get in. She tries to start the car and it doesn't work. And the place that she'd stopped the car meant I couldn't get my car out to go in my car instead. Um, so after about 45 minutes to an hour of panicking, and this is the part that I'm really mad that I didn't vlog because it was so impressive, I pushed her car. Me. Little noodle arms. Pushed a whole car slightly uphill for probably only about 10 feet but I still did it and I'm so mad that I didn't vlog it because it was impressive. I had to use my butt and like walk backwards but I still did it. I'm so proud. <sighs> but yeah and then uh, eventually she did get her car started like a couple of hours later and I went don't turn that fucking car off drive home right now and then I'll come pick you up. And eventually we did get our Mackies and I've only just gotten home so considering I got home from work uh, somewhere between three and four o'clock I think. It's now quarter to nine and I'm at home. And my parents have gone out for a curry which is really cute. I beeped at them as um, I drove home because I drove past them, it was adorable. <sighs> now after I've unloaded all of my information that I've been waiting to talk about for ages, I'm gonna write a blog post and finish editing the wedding that I did um, a couple of weeks ago. Luckily she's told me that it's all right and they're not overly rushed to get them. Because I have sent them a couple, like, as I've been going along. But she understands that I've started my new job. And, like, you know, I don't have as much time as I did to edit. But, yeah, that's great. I'm loving life at the minute, which is a crazy, crazy change. And I was on the phone earlier and I was like, did you ever expect me to be a morning person? Ever? I said, no, never. But, alas, I am now a morning person that has, like, baby hiccups. Oh, I'm just going to sit around my blog post. How lovely. Look at look at me little lady. Aww. She got hair dye on her head. We're having a lovely conversation, aren't we? Like a little cue ball head. <laughs> a little cue ball head. We are planning some things for the weekends to come. Excited. In whole every weekend. Every weekend. So 
Jess might be moving here. I really want to. Really, really want to. Yeah. I we think want... we'd have the best time. I think we'd be good as housemates too. I think we would. We'd be such good housemates. Creative and motivating and I have a great work, work ethic. And we'd be really clean and tidy. And imagine the decorating. Yeah, we'd be nice and clean and tidy. Imagine the decor. Like, how gorgeous would it look? A house of London. There'd be beautiful prints everywhere in beautiful frames and nice mirrors and everything would be beautiful and great and perfect. Lots everywhere. Fang would have to come. Oh, yeah, he's obviously. Nice. He's a nice boy. He's a good boy. Nice boy. No, you can't... He's there. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. Lovely. So, it's Saturday and... It is nine minutes to six. I've been asleep all day, on and off. Like, I woke up at a reasonable time. I think I woke up about half past nine. And I had a sausage sandwich for my breakfast, corn, obviously. And then I just kept falling asleep. So, that's been nice. But I have got the post. It's a giant, giant box. And it's something for work that I ordered to make moving my equipment easier. So I shall open it with no scissors. An idiot. scissors um uh, yeah and then the wheels are in there so this is what i have got this is i've just a tried a tried i have just tried to stick all the wheels on i think it's worked well enough so this is excellent it's to put all of my equipment on for work so i can wheel it around yeah rather than uh Taking three trips to the car every day. Make So push your things up the back a bit to push the string off the back. And then you can feel the nail. My arm is too short. Ah. Ta-da! This chair is really not stable enough. It's fine, just overreach, don't forget to tilt it down. I am. I am a pro. That is not making a normal noise. Enough? <laughs> Arty angles. <laughs> yeah. What way cool. anyway? Here you go. I have that. Actually, which one should I put there? You have We've got a grill mins. Oh. Oh no, it's fallen out. Okay, but can I have the grill mins one? If I put... No, I thought I'd put it in upside down. I'll put the grill mins one in. And then we'll have to tape that one. Bubble ruler. Bubble ruler? That was one from Ashley, thank you Ashley, the bubble ruler. Perfect. Cool. Yay! Maybe he has a subconscious attraction to Becky. And maybe he knew in his conscious mind that it was wrong to feel that way about Becky. And so he was just taking the aggression out on her. And another theory very similar to that one is that maybe he 
So these two are called Cinema Prints. I cannot remember which the artists are, but I'm sure it's on Instagram somewhere. And Alan did this one, the um, Don't Knock It Till You've Tried It whole print. I love this one. I got it from Freedom, Fe Freedom Festival or Humber Street Sesh last year, 2017. Heathers and then Gremlins. I um, still have three more Cult Cinema Sunday prints down here. So there's Wayne's World and I think that's Edward Scissorhands down there and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World which I want to reframe because I don't like these I like those so I might buy three more of them after payday obviously because they weren't the cheapest things in the world but they're not overly expensive either so buying three at once won't be that bad I just don't know where I'm going to put them they look so lovely but from you can see half of Jess happy it's Sunday so Afternoon. It is warm. Afternoon. It's fucking boiling. Does it say anywhere how hot? 22 degrees. 22 degrees. Shall we stop off at B&M on the way? Snacks. Snacks. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God, I'm starving. Snacks. I've not eaten yet today either. <laughs> how on That was it. Oh my, my hair looks so fucking like orange through my sunglasses. Oh God. I look really orange. It's been ages since my hair looked orange because it was fucking red, wasn't it? Yeah. They look good though, red. Do you think? Yeah. Red's the one colour I always said that I never wanted my hair to be. Yeah, I've always said the same as well. I can't remember how warm it is. I prepared for it to be like I've got the air on. Well, same. I thought yeah. it was going to be really cold. I've got the winter coat out. I miss my winter coat. Bought some candles yesterday from TK Maxx and one of them I smells like curry. What the fuck? Why didn't you smell it before you bought it? I or did, did you like it? it? Yeah, I liked it and then I got like, I got to the pages and they were like, it stinks of curry. <laughs> and now I don't want to lie. Yeah. I don't That's want so it. funny. <laughs> well, if you like a curry smelling candle. I'm actually going to stink like cake away. <laughs> that might not be a bad thing. <laughs> oh, the camera's going to be making fucking annoying noises when I'm editing it later. Green is bouncing off the um, display thing. Should put it a little bit higher up. <laughs> Sorry for getting with flash. <laughs> you don't need it. Looks like it just like that. Here's wobbling around. Well, our plan for today is since the weather's fucking banging and there's clouds, which yeah. means we'll get really good pictures of the sky, we're going to take some outfit pictures because I've not put any fashion content anywhere in ages and I miss it and especially seeing cool. all of your styling videos is making me so excited. We'll get some good snaps. <laughs> yeah, me, me. I ain't taken any photos outside like for a blog post in like three weeks. You've got really like photogenic house yeah. so you can take pictures in doors. We'll find somewhere to do them like yeah. even if it means coming back out in the car. I should have brought my camera with me shouldn't I? I need to move to Hull because I need to stop shooting photos in a village. I'm tired of it now. Oh, but I watched because I've been watching your chatty videos on YouTube. But last night I caught up on all of your, you know, the little lookbook ones that are like two minutes long. It's just a song. Yeah. I watched them all and I was like, that little field thing. It's near your mum's house, isn't yeah. it? It's beautiful. We're going to be here for a while. I'll well, take photos in there. Like, I want to take photos in front of like actual houses and buildings. And See, I never have the balls to do in front of houses. Just in case the person whose house it is walks past me and I'm like, I'm really sorry, but the outside of your house is being It's so photogenic. <laughs> fucking um, I'm sure there's somewhere. Because I take all of mine at fucking Bankside Gallery now. It's like all of my photos have got graffiti backgrounds. I like that though. Which I love, but like sometimes I want a little bit of something different. I'm going to reach 8,000 followers today and I'm excited. That's what the fuck? Last time you were on like six, that's like nearly two seven. About two thousand followers in less than a week. How? I don't know. I have no idea. I am so jealous. I've been stuck at like a new on two somewhere. It's got to be. <laughs> I swear, you've gained more followers in that time than I have in the whole time I've been on Instagram. I don't know what, what I've done. You need to help me. I've stopped using the hashtags, though, so that can't be helping anything. Yeah. Hashtag it. It's and... because my hashtag photos get the exact same, if not less likes than my photos that I don't put anyone. So I'm just like... Are you well, a business what, account what? or personal? Business. I'm on personal, go back to personal. I like having my insights. You know, on like, Instagram stories. Yeah. I like to be able to see who's clicking on what and stuff like that. 
maybe we switch over for a week and see if it makes a difference. I did that before, like. but I can't remember if I monitored the difference or not. Yeah. Because it was one of Maria's tips on Instagram. Yeah. Right? You know what, I think that's why I did it when I read that. And was I got... Yeah, but like a year ago. So it's supposed to do videos, I've been getting more. Maybe it was the video. Yeah. I used to do really chatty Instagram stories and I don't do that anymore since I've been blogging. It's such I an interesting chat. Yes. We're having an existential crises, well I am. Jessie's just going up in the world. I have a nude in, in the world of Instagram. Well, I'll link my own nudes if it means. <laughs> <laughs> my Instagram will grow with it. It's been leaked. Hi followers. I've just put this thing down here because I walked. Look at it, it's fucking horrible. It was here when I walked past it and it was quiet and then it shouted at me. Jess, I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> no. Our whole time. Hi, hi. The Halloween stuff was ridiculously disappointing. Actually um, a bit of a letdown. So I'm not very happy. But you got the coolest fucking bag in the world, which I nearly bought and then was like, I have too many little going out bags. But look how cute that is. It was six pounds from oh, Herm nice. Bargains. And I'm so jealous. It's so cute. It's just like a skinny dip bag, isn't it? I literally was just Six thinking pounds. that for half the price. Not even at like, least. Yeah. At least. What else did you get? Notebook. A little mermaid notebook. Because you can't have enough notebooks. <gasps> I love the this. The Halloween Matt of All Dreams. Haunted House. I so think it was cute. the classier one of them all. Yeah, yeah it was. Classy, but it wasn't Some like of them were a bit like tacky tacky, weren't they? How like, much was that one? That was. It wasn't much, was it? Two pounds. Two pounds fifty. Two pounds fifty for a doormat. Some Oops. cute little cups. These are tall. I love them. I love them. We'll put them Were they there. cheap as well? Yeah, one ninety nine. Two pounds four cups. They were one pound last year. They're so cute. The and then and some things. Yeah. These fancy ass nice. chocolates. They're gonna fall down. Yeah. And Chris. Woo! And there's some yeah. strawberries in there as well. Oh. And a sandwich. No, I'm. And I've just bought food because there was no Halloween stuff that I wanted. You but look at the size of this <laughs> bag of boxes for a pound. For a pound, I'm so happy. I like your little rice and things. They oh look yeah. I got these to take to work because Kit Kat, Chunky and Orange. Oh, and these are my favourite things in the world ever. So there's, they're like rice crackers, but these are sour cream and onion flavoured and then these are chilli flavoured. There's a man looking at us. I just look at him and I am doing that. <laughs> so now we're going to go and, oh, the fucking sky has gone really grey. We're gonna go take some pictures somewhere because we've both got nice outfits on today. And I've had this done for a million years. I've never photographed it for a, a blog post. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's on the lip. I've had to roll the sleeves up because I can't. <laughs> I can't drive with the sleeves down. They get caught on my gear stick. I nearly bought that when you first did it, but at the time I didn't have a job, so I was just like, I can't. Oh, neither did I. Dead. <laughs> it was like I bought this and the mittens, mm, and I keep yeah. the mittens in my bag all the time. Okay. And I bought, I've had them for about six years. So was it Hannah definitely Snowden, worth it. that model, is it? It must have been. Yeah. It must have been, because it was before they were together. Yeah. Also, do we think Mantra is about her? Yes. It has to be. 100%. If not, even if it's not about her, it's about that situation. About their situation, about like, their relationship. Yeah. It has to yeah. be. Because it's a banger of a song, and like it I fully understand well. why they got divorced, <laughs> but that song has to be about her. Because she's very spiritual, I'm yep. assuming she has, you know, mantras. And, oh, it has to be about her. Good song. Dead good song. I feel like I should have a necklace on. Same, but natural. I look so much better on camera than I actually look in person. Yeah, me too. So imagine how ugly I am in person. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever on a Snapchat filter, had the filter, and then it's clicked off and you've just gone, oh, because you look I like, don't use Snapchat, <laughs> but I have on Instagram. Like, the filters make you look really Wait, good. look at this bit of... <laughs> because of my sunglasses. Yay. For God's sake. I didn't fully dry my hair either. I don't even need them on. I just think I look a bit better. It's not that bright anymore. So we're going to go to the House of Moz. We're going to take house. some pictures. And you're going to help me think of yes. some blog posts. Yes, I'm good at that. Thinking of I've other got things for other people for myself. Yeah, me too. I'm really good mm -hmm. at suggesting ideas to other people. No good at thinking of myself. I've got like three in the pipeline because I'm doing one about my gallery wall. Because when I posted a picture, I like, got mm. loads of questions off people asking about my frames, asking about mm. my art, asking about like how I actually put it up. Q and A, that shit. So I'm gonna. Um, I'm doing. I can't remember what I called it. I think I thought of a really good title. Ports of call for your gallery wall. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. shit is it? I love it. <laughs> so I've got that in the pipeline. I've thought of the first two tips. And I want it to be like a proper good process of this is what I thought of when I did yeah. mine rather than being like buy some frames, buy some art, stick it on your wall. Like I yeah. want to give actual good 
I like realistic that. tips. So I've I got that in the pipeline. Even with blog posts, if it's a tip, tips or like bullet pointed like layout, I'll read that more than anything. Like even if yeah. it's about oh, I'll read it's a tips anything. video. It's like oh, I'll do yeah. that. Tips that's on blogging, nice. tips on photography. See, I've never read any because I'm one of those people that's like I don't need to read other people's tips on photography. I have a degree in it. Fuck you. I'm a yeah. professional photographer because <laughs> I actually am now. Yeah. I actually am. I'm a professional photographer. Mm. So I get really like stubborn and I'm like, mm, they're not going to know anything I don't know. When yeah. realistically, I should be really open to it and start, you know, new stuff. Because then even if I read it and yeah. it's something that I don't agree with, I can just know that. Some posts yeah. let me down. Like, I'll read, like, say if it's on, like, um, having your own business, and it's just, like, there was no helpful tips in that. Yeah. Like, not at all. Just obvious stuff, like, create I a website. A I have a question about that, so I'm going to turn this off because okay. it's talking about a person. Guess who just stung her bum? <laughs> <laughs> she sat on a nettle. This dickhead. <laughs> this dickhead sat on a nettle. So we're in the country park taking pictures for our blogs. Uh, so we're going to have matching photo sets for cute. whenever we end up posting something next. And um, I was sat on a bench and was in this really cute little like archway of wood. Like I'll have vlogged it a thousand times before because I've come here all the time. And um, Jess thought she was being real clever and she like scampered <laughs> through a gap in the archway, bent down like this to take a picture and sat right on a nettle. I'm literally walking around just holding my butt. Like. And we can't find any dock leaves. <laughs> So we're finishing up our shoot early. Fair enough, my camera was nearly dead anyway. And we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go home and find some gemily to put on Jesse's bottom. Look banging though. They look good. Mm. <laughs> they look good though. Mm. I think we've done. There's some kids sliding down the um, like cliff sides. It's really so cute. Precious. I know. Um, I'm almost gonna say now. I can't remember. Oh, I think they're rivaling the ones we took last time, to be honest. Every time I've come to Hull, well, yeah, actually, I love these. I love all the photos you take. This is I'm number one fan. You. you are my number one Last fan. time I came to Hull, I burnt my ass going down the slide as well. What slide? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've still got a mark, actually. Where were you on a slide? Um, at that park. <laughs> With the boat, with the rowing boat. Oh, uh, East Park. Yeah, because I had a dress on and burnt my ass. Oh. She's so smart. <laughs> and now we're gonna go. What time is it? I'm not wearing my watch. Your I'm phone's dead. dead. <laughs> I'm useless. I could be murdered right now. Except, actually, I could murder you. Yeah. I was gonna say, except you with me, but. Who I wasn't. <laughs> I'm gonna murder you. Oh, fucking hell, my ring just fell off. Oh, shit, in hell. No, not emergency call. It's 20 to 3. Okay. So we've still actually got enough time to. Yeah. Sit and do some stuff. Yes, let's get planning. Woo! My fringe looks like an abomination. Look <laughs> an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> you alright, mate? Uh, uh, yeah, mate, how are you doing? Uh, I missed your dance. I also missed your dance. <laughs> Ultimate showdown, ultimate destiny. 
Oh, the vagina chair. Oh, the vagina chair. Yes. Into the crush of Indiana Jones. And he crushed Batman's head in between his thighs. Then Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White and Master Python and the Holy Grail Black Knight, the Crystal Mussolini and the Blue Mini and Galway Kirk and Jogi the Genie, Robocop, Terminator, Captain Kirk, and Darth Vader, Lopez, Superman, every single power in the world. And Hulk Hogan. Did you miss? Did you miss? Yay! Not twice. Twice, and again. After that one. Where did that go? <laughs> oh, that way too hard. Ready? Go. <laughs> 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 Ow! Wait, you just throw your own. Oh! Yeah! Da, da, da. It clicked my tooth. We heard. Wait. It was quite loud over here. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Oh. <laughs> it's just 10 5 o'clock. I've just got home from work. My back hurts. I'm so tired. But we got given treats today from the school. We got a muffin, two cookies. And a giant jammy dodger, which I left in the car, but I will get out later and show you it because it's so cool. I'm just gonna put some snuggly clothes on now and lay on the couch and eat some hot suits because I have not eaten apart from my muffin and I'm exhausted. Mm. But I got paid today from my training week and meeting of um, reimbursements from fuel. And it was a good amount of money back in my bank. <sighs> I feel like I'm contributing to society like a proper grown up. This is the giant damage jammy dodger. Dammy dodger. Like the size of my hand. Oh, I'm excited to eat that. Probably tomorrow. And they also gave me this chocolate cookie. They're all in plastic. Hopefully, that's not spilled everywhere. And this oat cookie. I also got a muffin, but I ate that already. Oh, some schools are just so good to me. Tomorrow I am going to Rotherham. And it's eight o'clock and I've decided to just come sit in bed for an hour and then try to go to sleep because I have to be up really early again. Today had been like a full on 12 hour day. Um, so most Mondays are gonna be like this from now on. Fridays are probably gonna be the same as well. But I think it's a nice like, Nice to carry on my Fridays to Mondays like normal, I think. But my skin is shocking at the minute. Like, look, look how shocking my face is looking at the minute. Oh, I really need to get myself registered to the doctors again. <clears throat> get my shit sorted. I'm also gonna go on the hunt for a like work bag, like a grown up work bag. Because mine, as much as I love skinny dip, my handle has been doing this since I bought it. And I had to actually stick um, these screws back in. But as you can tell, it is just going to shit again. So I am going to troll the internet for a nice work bag to treat myself. Because it was payday today from, <coughs> from my training week. So my travel expenses came back to me today, which is really nice. So I can now afford fuel for the next month and a nice grown-up work pack for myself so i hope you have enjoyed this weekend's vlog and i'll see you next week don't forget to subscribe if you want to i will not hold you to that you may leave at any chosen opportunity and i'm going to probably put my dressing gown on and then get back inside my fluffy blanket oh i need to sort out my lunch for tomorrow i need to go back downstairs and do that Ugh. But yes, good night.